Welcome to this 812 Spectrum Protect Operations Center video. In this release, we are introducing support for object storage as a block blob in Microsoft Azure. IBM Spectrum Protect will be able to back up and restore its data to Azure using Azure specific object storage protocols. Before you create a Azure cloud container inside of Spectrum Protect, you'll need a Microsoft Azure account. And inside of that account, you'll want to go into the storage accounts where we will create a new storage account. A storage account in Azure is equivalent to a bucket in S3 terminology. So first click on the plus sign and let's add in a new storage account. Give the storage account a meaningful name. In this case, I called it Spectrum Protect. 812. You'll want the deployment model to be resource manager. You want the account kind to be blob storage. Performance is fine as standard. Replication should be read access geo redundant storage. And for the access tier, you can choose either cool or hot. They do have different pricing tiers inside of Azure, so do be aware of that. Spectrum Protect will support both of them, but if you initially choose hot, then that storage account will remain hot, versus if you initially choose cool, it will remain cool. Next, disable the encryption, because we'll be using Spectrum Protect's server-side encryption. You'll want to give the resource group a name, so we're calling it default storage, dash west us and finally choose a location that's closest to your IBM Spectrum Protect server and then click create once the storage account has been validated and created if you click on the storage account icon again the name will show up so let's drill down into that storage account Underneath this Essentials screen, the first thing we're going to need in order to create a Spectrum Protect Azure Cloud Container is the Primary Blob Service Endpoint. So go ahead and copy that endpoint. And now we're going to go back into the Spectrum Protect Operations Center and go into the Storage, Storage Pools, Click on the plus storage pool button in order to add in a new storage pool. We'll want to give this container a name, so we're going to call it Azure Container. Click Next. And now we want to choose Off-Premise Cloud. Click Next. We want to leave encryption enabled. This will be Spectrum Protect server-side encryption, where we actually store this encryption keys inside the Spectrum Protect database. For the cloud type, we want to choose Microsoft Azure. This is not an S3 protocol. This is a Microsoft Azure cloud utilizing Microsoft Azure protocol. We want to paste where the blob service endpoint is that we just copied from the Azure website. And now we need to go and get the SAS token from the Azure storage account. Back in the Microsoft Azure account, inside of the storage account, you'll need to generate a shared access signature token. So drill down into shared access signature. You'll want to create a token with the allowed services of blob, with the allowed resource types of service, container, and object, with permissions of read, write, delete, list, add, and create. And most important, for the start and expiry date, this needs to be set considering in your environment your security rules and how long you use a given credential. When the SAS key expires, Spectrum Protect will no longer be able to backup or restore from that storage account until you generate a new SAS key and update the Spectrum Protect container with the new key. So before the SAS token expires, you'll want to generate a new one to ensure a continual operation for the Azure Cloud Container. You can leave the allowed IP addresses blank, and for allowed protocols, you can choose either HTTPS only or HTTPS and HTTP. Go ahead and click on Generate SAS. 
scroll down and you'll see the SAS token. So go ahead and copy that SAS token, switch back to the operation center and paste that SAS token inside of the wizard here. Go ahead and click next. You will need to set aside some directory space on the Spectrum Protect server and create a directory there. This directory will be used to temporarily store the data that's received from the Spectrum Protect clients during backups or archives. The data will be deduped and then optionally compressed and encrypted, written out to this directory, and then the data is packaged into larger objects and sent up to the Azure container. This allows for better throughput to the Azure cloud. And the space that's needed for this directory will vary depending on the amount of data that's being backed up, the available bandwidth to send the data, and the disk I.O. rates. You can add in one or more directories. Go ahead and click Next. And then go ahead and close and view the policies as we have successfully created this container storage pool. In the storage pool view, you can see our new Azure container storage pool. And if you click on it and drill down into the details, if you take a look at the properties page, you'll see that if you do need to update, for instance, the SAS token, you would do that by unlocking the cloud information and then making your updates and then saving those updates. So in summary, Spectrum Protect 812 now supports object storage as block blobs inside of Microsoft Azure. You will need to first set up your Microsoft Azure storage account and a directory that'll be used as a accelerator directory on your Spectrum Protect server. And then you can use the Operations Center to easily define that container to Spectrum Protect. Thank you.